Connie, how has your last 24 hours been? It's been a mess. Uh, go to get water, you can't use it, and then you have to go to a relative's or somewhere to take a shower, and it's about seven to eight miles. Uh, I just wish that it would hurry up and resolve it so we can go on with our life. <laughs> How do you feel about how they've dealt with the crisis? Uh, I mean, it's nice I'm giving away water and stuff, but there's still a lot of stuff that you could use, like paper products and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But you can't do the dishes <laughs> unless you boil bottled water. <laughs> that gets expensive. <laughs> right. So what do you think about how long it took for them to notify people that they shouldn't drink the water? Right. We should have been notified three to four hours before it they actually told us, I think. But. Do you think anyone has suffered because of that? Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's been people that's went to the hospital and they, it could have been prevented if they would have notified, if they knew to notify people earlier, I think. Do you think that um, we need to change how we respond to things like this? Uh, yeah. Try to be more faster, I think. but. Is this something that you think is um, common here in the Chemical Valley, or is this an uncommon event? Well, yeah, this type of thing is uncommon that I know of. <laughs> so I don't know. Are you used to being somewhat aware, though, of like the chemicals that pollute the air and the water here? Uh, yeah, it's not as bad as it was it used to be years ago. <laughs> So do you have anything that you want people to know? People who are not living here, people who don't hear everyone's individual stories, do you have anything you want them to know about this that's important? I don't know. I don't know what to say. Yeah, no, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, my sister lives in Roanoke and she's heard about it, so, I mean, it's national news, so. Right. I don't know. What else to say? That's okay. Do you think people understand like the extent of how much this is affecting people here? Uh, they should understand. I mean, I know maybe they're doing all they can with the water and stuff, but like there's other stuff that I think that they can prepare, like paper products, cups, forks, mm -hmm. so you don't have to do the dishes. So you don't have to boil, boil your bottled water because you can't boil it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's inconvenient.